Hi, this tutorial is to learn how to use the new Conjuguemos Play Live feature. It's the biggest upgrade in this version of Conjuguemos. Uh, Play Live will allow you to organize your students into your games and activities with just a game code. It's quick, secure, and it's fun. So let's get started. To use Play Live, project your screen to your students and then press the play live button next to any of the verb or vocabulary activities in your page. I'm gonna press it on this present tense activity and it's gonna give me a number of options. Uh, we're gonna start with the graded practice, which is probably what you're most familiar with. Once you select it and you press continue, this will generate a game code that your students can see on your projected screen and they can use that game code to join. They just go to this URL and they don't need to have an account. They don't need to log in. All they need to do is type in the game code. And as you can see, two of my students already joined. Once all your students have joined, you press start game. And then the students, uh, they're doing graded practice right now in front of you. Uh, you can see the scores changing. If anybody uh, wants to join late, uh, the game code is still up here and you can uh, and, and they'll be able to join. If you want to hide the scores, you can click on this. Uh, but otherwise, this is a way for everybody to be able to see what they're doing. It's almost like a, it can become like a competitive activity for your class that, that maybe your students can get into. Once they have practiced all you want them to practice, you can stop at any time by pressing stop and that will show a leaderboard um, and you can download the scores. And so that way now uh, this will this is a, an Excel file. You have a number of grades for a very quick and easy to organize classwork activity. You can also use Play Live to organize your students in one of the many uh, paired or class-wide games. To do so, uh, again, press play live next to your any of your vocabulary or verb activities. And there's a number of games here that you can play. Uh, we're going to try Empanada Gobbler. Uh, this is a brand new game, so I'm going to select that. Uh, once you select the game, you'll be asked to uh, select from these options. The waiting room option is what you should do if a student doesn't have a partner. This is going to happen when you have uneven numbers, like I'm going to have today. A uh, certain student, uh, and so when you have an uneven number and not everybody gets a partner, uh, you can send them to either word search, crossword, or memory. I'm going to send them to the crossword. So while students are playing, there's going to be one student probably who's going to be in the crossword. Number of rounds, you can have multiple rounds, and if you have multiple rounds, uh, they can switch partners. And how long the round should last, we're going to make it last two minutes. So then you press continue. And now uh, you have the same situation where the game code appears, they go to the website and they're just going to join. Once your students have joined, as you see here, the next step is to pair them into team, into matches. And so if you pair them, you see that Sne 2002 is going to play versus Peter, while Carlos is going to be in the waiting room. Uh, if you don't like a certain pair of the pairs that you got, uh, you can always reshuffle. Uh, it shows you up here how many rounds you chose to play. I only chose to do one round. You press ready. It's going to show these very short instructions. Empanada Gobbler is really a game just like Pac-Man. It's basically Pac-Man, but you have to catch the, the verbs. And you press start. And then uh, once you press start, you can see the matches. Everybody can see the matches uh, live. Uh, and so Sne and Peter right now are playing against one another. I can't show you the game because this is only a tutorial uh, for organizing your students into games, but believe me, they're having a lot of fun. So as you can see, uh, Sne is winning. You can play them for as long as you want, and whenever you want, you press stop, and there's going to be a leaderboard. And so, and so this is the way that you can use Play Live to organize your students into uh, in some of our live games without having them to log in or invite each other. Uh, easy, quick, effective, and fun. 
Thank you for listening. For more tutorials or to contact me, use the information in this page right here. Thank you.